going to be showing you a card trick that is going to be a little more difficult than most of the other ones that I've been posting. So um, I just know a lot of you have been asking for something a little more advanced. So anyways, here's what it is going to look like. All right, so to start it off, you can have the spectator just pick any random card from the middle um, of the deck. It really doesn't matter which one it is. And in this case, I'm not actually going to look at it. So I'll just be showing you guys the card that you stopped me at. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this somewhere in the middle of the deck and then I'll get the pack mixed up and then I'll cut the deck somewhere so I can pick four random cards from the place that we cut at. And the thing about these cards is they're actually going to be helping me into deciding uh, which card you picked. So let's say we take the first card here and the first card tells me that your card is going to be a red card. The card below that tells me that your card is going to be a heart. And the card below that is going to tell me the value. So in this case, your card should be a four. So uh, these three cards right now have told me that your card is the ace of spades, right? So obviously this isn't your card, but what happens is when I stick the ace and put it into this pile, give it a snap and also a twist. As you guys can see, the three cards below it have now changed into the other aces. Okay, so obviously you're kind of wondering uh, where your card is, but in this case, let's say we take, maybe it's a top card over in this pile. As you can see, this one's an ace. The card below that is also an ace, and the card below this is an ace, and the card below that is an ace. So obviously now we're only left with one card here, and that is going to be your card. So this is a trick, guys. I hope you guys like it, and if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so to start everything off, what you want to do is start by getting the four aces in this position, so this way you have the ace of spades um, second from the top when they're face up. So that way when they're on top of the deck, they should be, uh, the ace of spades should be in the third position. So make sure you do that and then come back and then you guys are gonna be basically ready for the trick. So uh, the first thing you wanna do is you can have the spectator go through and pick any card that they want. And you can tell them they can look at it. And then as they're kind of holding it, uh, they're kind of being misdirected. All you wanna do is take the cards and cut them. So this way you get a pinky break right above those four aces. So. Uh, the next thing you do here is you take the card back, in this case it's the Jack of Diamonds, and you're not going to really be knowing the card um, until the end of the trick. So you take the card and say, look, I'm going to go ahead and just put it in the middle. In reality, you're just putting it in that pinky break, and you can let it go, sticking it in there, pushing the card down, and then getting that thumb break, and then controlling their card to the top. So I'm not really going into too much detail about this, because this guy is the easier movements, this is kind of more of advanced tricks so at this point. You do whatever you can to move their card to the top and then you can do a false cut and say look I'm going to take the next four random cards and they're going to help me out um, with finding your card. So I'll leave the link up on the screen for that false cut. And then you take the next four cards and you're going to put the deck down leaving it towards like the right hand side of your body. You'll see why you do that in a second. But in this case you have the four cards, you have three aces and you have their card on top but, but you need to get their card into the third position. Uh, so what I did was in the performance is I said, look, I'm going to take these four cards and then I kind of just grab the top card and leave it to the left and then take the middle cards and do this action. And then I put this packet on top. So now their card is going to be in the third position. And then from here, you tell your spectators, all right, so the top card tells me that your card is going to be a red card or actually home. You don't know yet. But the thing is, is what I'm doing here is as I'm telling them that I kind of just get a pinky break on the bottom or a pinky pull down actually of the bottom card so you take that card the very bottom card get a pinky pull down so this way you can get the top three cards you flip it over and say look so the first card here tells me your card is going to be a red card and from here you do the same exact thing you flip the, the triple packet over put the card down and then you do the next one so you say look the next card tells me it's going to be a diamond so you flip it over and then you do the double lift again you flip the double over leave their card on the table and then you do a single lift and say look so the next card tells me the value and it's going to be a jack so obviously these three cards are going to tell me the card is the ace of spades at this point the spectators obviously knowing you're kind of joking around because your card isn't the ace of spades and you kind of leave it on the table so you tell them all right so you know obviously your card isn't the ace of spades but the thing is is that now your card should disappear from this packet and you leave the ace you flip it over and you do whatever like gesture you want to do snap your fingers Flip it over and say look your cards actually disappeared from this packet and you do an elms account and i'll leave the link up on the screen for that and what you've just done is brought their card to the top of this packet so from here 
their card being on top, you get a thumb break between the top card and the rest of the packet. And so you know what, maybe your card is on top of the deck. So this is why you have it to the right. And this is kind of the hard part of the trick. In one swift motion, what you're doing is you're saying, okay, so you know what, maybe your card is on top of the deck. And as you're coming over and you flip this card up, the spectator is gonna be focusing on this card. So you say, look, maybe your card's on top. And as you flip it here, you're moving the right hand over, dropping the thumb break and saying, actually, you know what, this is an ace. And what I've just done is I've dropped the rest of the cards on top. And you say, what, maybe it's the next card down. And you keep showing them that the next cards down are actually all aces. And you say, you know what, maybe the single card I have left in my hand is your card. And you flip it over and you show it to the spectator. And uh, this is a trick, guys. I hope you guys like it. And as always, Should be posted on Christmas um, and I figured I'll be doing a deck giveaway for the holidays now all you have to do in order to win these three decks as you can see I have one from the Bellagio Hotel in Las Vegas one from the Stratosphere and one from Caesars Palace so these are all really popular famous hotels guys and all you have to do in order to win these decks is go down in the comments below and comment why um, actually you know what comment what is your favorite part about the holidays and I'll go through and pick uh, you know the comment that I feel stands out most to me and I'll give away these three decks um, Anyways guys here is the video. All right, so today I'm going to be showing you uh, what is in my opinion probably one of the best uh, You know like mathematical card tricks out there um, It requires no setup and it's completely self-working So pretty much everybody here can do this trick without even practicing So let's say you give the deck to the spectator and they can shuffle it up and then they can pick any number of cards um, let's say like Let's say 16. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now from this packet, the spectator can also mix up this if they want to. It's completely up to them and they can shuffle up the pack. Um, but the whole thing here is let's say with the 16 cards, you have the spectator pick a number that is a little more than half of the number they originally chose. So if it's 16, it would have to be like 9 or above, so let's say they pick 10, so you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll put it down here, we'll do the same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we'll do it one more time, so you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now guys, the card that you should have stopped me at from the shuffle deck was the three of diamonds. So if I snap my fingers, we're gonna have the three pop up just like this. So this is a trick, guys, and if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so here's how the trick is gonna work. You can have the spectator um, shuffle up the deck for real. Um, you can have a borrow deck, so this is a completely impromptu trick with no setup. Um, the spectator really can pick any number of cards. Um, so let's say they were gonna pick a number, let's say like uh, 13, so it's a little bit less, let's say they wanted to pick 13 cards. So what you can do here is you can either remember the top card, in this case the four of diamonds, or I'll show you what I did um, in the performance. So let's say they pick 13, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So from this packet of cards, what you can do is you can either um, take a peek at the bottom card here, or you can have the spectator shuffle up the deck and then you can take the deck back and shuffle it yourself. And when you're shuffling it, you can take a peek at that jack of hearts over here and lay that down first and then continue shuffling and now you know the bottom card of the deck. So the whole thing is you need to know the bottom card. In this case, it's the jack of hearts and the spectator can really pick any card over half of the amount of the cards in here. So in this case, you have 13. Let's say they pick the number like nine. Okay, so it's over half, and what you do is you do this process three times. So they say they wanted the number nine, you count down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then you leave the deck on top, pick it up, and you do it two more times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you put the deck down, you do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and now the top card is going to be whatever card was on the bottom. So in this case, it's gonna be the Jack of Hearts. So before you even do the whole counting out process, if you want to, you can write down the prediction um, just to make the trick a little better since you know, since you're showing the spectators, you know the card before they've even uh, dealt out or paid the number. So 
this is a trick guys hope you guys like it and as always thanks be showing you uh, one of my all-time favorite card tricks using uh, just four cards so basically um, we have the four aces here and I promise you um, these aren't marked in a way where I can uh, you know see them without looking at the faces so trust me believe me there guys I could shuffle up the deck a little bit and then if you were here you could pick a card let's say like this one it doesn't really matter which one it is but I'm going to be showing you guys I promise you I'm not looking at the card I'm just going to be showing the camera here so this is going to be your card and let's say you put this in the middle somewhere and if you were here I'd let you shuffle it up so I can't see where the card's going and also I could also turn my head a little bit and I really wish I could prove to you guys I don't know where the cards at so let's go ahead I'll look through the cards and I'll see which one you guys happened to pick so I'm gonna guess you guys picked the ace of diamonds now guys I promise you this isn't some sort of camera trick I'm not doing something to cheat you this trick is really simple and really easy and you guys will be able to do it so make sure to stick around for the tutorial alright so here's how you guys are gonna be able to do the trick so um, like I said, the good part is is that it's not difficult at all. Once you understand like the concept, it's going to be so much easier. So essentially, you can use any deck, um, any aces, and it doesn't matter. They're not marked or anything. So uh, the big thing here, what you're looking at, um, here's kind of like the secret. So essentially, the cards are, you're focusing on the middle of the pip. So you only care about these four things right here. And what you want to do is the first thing is you want to imagine the ace of clubs as coming to a point right here so imagine the ace of clubs it's formed like this and this is kind of like a triangle and the point is pointing that way just like the ace of hearts here the point here it's pointing downward and then you have the ace of spades and that's pointing upward so you want to make sure these two cards the ace of clubs and the ace of hearts are pointing in the same direction with the ace of spades pointing in the opposite direction and the ace of diamonds obviously doesn't matter because it's kind of neutral so you square all these up, it doesn't matter what order the individual aces are, it just matters that uh, they're facing in the direction they should be. So the ace of clubs, ace of hearts, both face down, ace of spades faces up, and it doesn't matter about the ace of diamonds. So from here you can have the spectators shuffle up the deck, because it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't matter about what order they're in. So let's say they shuffle it up, they give the deck back to you, and they can pick any card. So I'm going to go through one by one the different scenarios. So let's say they pick the ace of clubs so you don't even know what card they're picking so let's say they take the card out and here's basically the move so if the spectator and most likely this is what they're going to do they're going to take out the card they're going to be looking at it let's pretend they're over there they're going to be looking at the card and they're going to give it back to you uh, without twisting it okay so they're not going to be taking the card out like that most of the time so let's say they're holding the card they're looking at it while they're looking at it you casually just go ahead and pivot the deck and just flip it over so all these cards are now flipped upside down from where they were before the spectator you could tell them okay go ahead and put it back and this is when you can turn your head and they can put the card in anywhere they want because they might just you know think that you're looking at where they're putting the card so let's say you close your eyes you turn your head they put the card anywhere they want they can shuffle up the deck as long as they're not um, flipping the cards or anything like that so let's say they shuffle the deck up they give it back to you and now this is what you have to look for. So we don't know, let's say hypothetically, we don't know what card they picked, but what you're gonna be looking at are the way that these are shaped. So the first thing I advise you to do is look at the Ace of Clubs and Ace of Hearts first. So the decks face up, you're looking at these two cards. If these two are now, as you guys can see, they're not facing the same way. So we have the Ace of Clubs pointing downward and the Ace of Hearts pointing upward. You know they picked either the Ace of Clubs or the Ace of Hearts. Now remember when I said we're going to be using the Ace of Spades, like the reference card, whatever card matches the direction of the Ace of Spades, that is going to be the card they pick. So like I said, here these are two facing different ways. This is down, this is up, and now the Ace of Clubs is pointing the same direction as the Ace of Spades, so now you know they picked the Ace of Clubs. Alright, so we can go ahead and redo the setup. We have the Ace of Clubs facing up, matching with the Ace of Hearts facing up, and the Ace of Spades is going the opposite direction. But these two cards, you can square these up, you can have the spectator shuffle it up, and now let's say they were to pick the Ace of Hearts. So you spread it out, Ace of Hearts, they pick the Ace of Hearts, it doesn't matter which way it goes. Now let's pretend that the spectator actually twisted the card as they turned it out. So let's say they picked it up from the deck, and they looked at it, they saw it themselves. You won't have to pivot this deck 180 degrees because they've already twisted the card for you. So let's say they twist the card for you, you don't have to pivot the deck anymore. 
you close your eyes, they put the card wherever they want, they can shuffle it up. And you look at it, you say, okay, you get the deck back. And now you can see that the Ace of Clubs and the Ace of Hearts are not facing the same direction anymore. So you know they picked one of these cards and now you look for which card matches the Ace of Spades. So as you guys can see, the Ace of Hearts is pointing down, the Ace of Spades is pointing down, you know they picked the Ace of Hearts. So now let's say if they were to pick the Ace of Spades, you would know they picked the Ace of Spades because all three cards would be matching. So let's say they were to pick the Ace of Spades, they're looking at their card, you're making sure to uh, know if they've twisted this card yet. Let's say they haven't twisted it yet, so this means when they give the card back to you, before they give it back, you have to make sure you twist this deck. They give this back to you, you don't know what it is, let's say the Ace of Spades though. They go ahead and they mix it up like this. You take the cards back, and now what you do is you're looking again at that Ace of Hearts Ace of Clubs. Now, if you still see they're, uh, they're pointing the same direction, you know they have not picked one of these cards. And then you look at the Ace of Spades. Now, if they're all pointing in the same direction, just like this, they're all pointing down, then you know that they picked the Ace of Spades. So that's pretty simple. And the easiest one of all, um, if they do happen to pick the Ace of Diamonds, then the order of the cards won't have, they, they're not gonna be changed because they have all these. This is facing down, this is facing down, this is facing up and the Ace of, uh, Ace of Diamonds remain the same. So that one's the easiest. Uh, I hope this trick works out for you guys. Let me know down in the comments. And as always, thanks for Today, um, I'm gonna be showing you a trick. Um, it is gonna be a little bit more difficult than a lot of the other effects that I have. So if you are a really, really beginner and just starting out, um, I recommend checking out the link below. Um, that's gonna help you out tremendously. Uh, anyways guys here is the actual video so um, to start off let's say I give the deck a few cuts like this and what I'll have you do is I'll riffle down the deck you can say stop whenever you want and then that's how we're gonna pick a few cards so let's say you say stop here I'll take the deck and we'll place the cards down I'll place them down face down just like this now uh, with those cards what I want to do is leave this on the table and then I'll take Let's say I'll take a few cards off the top of the deck, maybe like three or so cards. Let's say we take one, two, three cards off the top of the deck. And now all I want to do here is take the first card that you chose. Let's say we look at it. It just so happens to be the Ace of Spades. So now the funny thing is, is when I bend the cards like this, those three cards they took off the top of the deck should now actually be the other three Aces just like that. So as you can see, the other three cards were the other three aces and I'll show you here again we have the three aces the four aces just like this you can see those and now again here's the ace of spades that you chose from the beginning I'll take that I'll set that off to the side and now what I want to do is show you again I have one two three cards left and I can show you here the next card that you happen to stop me at was the jack of spades so now if I take this jack and I can show you if I just bend the deck just a little bit like that, I can show you that those three aces have now changed into three jacks, just like this. So I'll take these cards, show you again, here I have the four jacks, show them to you. And now all I'm gonna do is I'll take that jack that you chose, set that off to the side, and now the last portion, you can see this card, I'm willing to put money on it that this is the 10 of clubs, and as you can see, it is, and now if I show you the other three cards that I have here, snap my fingers, square it up, and actually turn into four cards. And these four cards do create a royal flush. So this is a trick, guys, and if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the. Hey, I'm going to be showing you this really cool card trick using the two red kings. Now, uh, when you do this to the spectator, you're going to have them pick a card face up. So you'd have the deck spread open, and you could have them say stop whenever. And let's just say they said stop at the five of spades. So you tell them to go ahead, remember the five of spades, and you are going to be using the two red kings from the beginning over here to help you find the, their card. So to go ahead, we take one king, we take another. You guys can see there's nothing in between them. I go ahead, flip the cards over, give the deck a shake, and one card actually appears in between two red kings like that let's say I flip the kings over again give the deck another shake you guys can see the card actually vanishes so 
Uh, from here, the spectator is probably going to think the card's somewhere near the top. So you can go ahead and you can spread out the cards and show them their card is actually nowhere near the top. Even if they think it's near the bottom, you guys can spread through the deck, show them it's not there. But in fact, you can go ahead, snap your fingers, spread the deck, and their card is face up in the middle. So this is the trick. And if you guys learn how to do it, don't forget to stick on for the tutorial. All right, guys, so here's how the trick is actually going to work. So uh, the good part is there's actually no setup um, to the trick. So you can go ahead, you can take out the two kings whenever you want to leave these off to the side or have the spectator hold them. Um, and then from here, all you have to do is as you're starting off the trick, you guys are going to do something called the Browy Reversal. And basically all you're doing is um, you're just going to be pushing over the top card with your thumb, getting a pinky break, and then doing a kind of like a double undercut but you're switching this to a thumb break and then you're going to take half the cards from the bottom and instead of just moving them on top, you're going to flip the packet over, holding that break and then flipping the other half as well. So now you have just moved that card to the bottom uh, but flipped it over. So at this point, this is what the deck is gonna look like and you just go ahead and swing cut the cards with your fingers like this and then you tell the spectator to say stop whenever and this is this is a truly free selection so they could say stop at whatever card they wanted to and let's say we have the six of spades right so all you have to do is put their selection on top so now you have uh, that face up card on the bottom and then their card here and from this point you say all right go ahead you know you could have picked any card and all you do at this point is an actual double undercut so you go ahead get a pinky break underneath the top card and say, you know what, go ahead and remember the six of spades. And as you're telling them to remember the card, all you have to do is double undercut this to the bottom. And now you can flip the deck over. You actually have the spectators card on top and then that face up card uh, right below it. So at this point, when you ask them to, um, you know, give you back the Kings, all you can do is riffle down the side and get a two card break with your thumb. And you guys hold that and then that way you know as they're giving you the kings back you have just some time to misdirect them and get that break right there all right so from here you take each king you show them there's nothing in between them and then what you can do is as you put that king right on top of the break you say look there's nothing in between them put them here and then you take the cards from the break flip the entire thing over shake the deck you can spread over one by one and then here's uh, here's what you have to do so you out jog the top card right there okay so their card so you say look the kings have actually sandwiched your card and as you out jog it you're gonna push this top card flush with the bottom card because this actually isn't a king so this comes in comes flush with the bottom card you show them the king on the bottom make sure not to flash this top, top card you say all right look so your card has been sandwiched by the kings and then you could just go ahead and as you're flashing the card to the spectator, you push over the top card on the left, catch a break, slide everything back on top of the break, square it up and say, look what happens if I flip the kings over. So now you grab it from that four card break, flip everything over, shake the deck and say, look, now your card has vanished in between the two kings. So at this point you're left here and you say, you know what, you might be thinking the card is towards the top. So you can go ahead, riffle down a couple cards, make sure not to flash this one so you go ahead you start riffling down you flip over the top half and from here you go one by one with the cards and say look your card is nowhere near the top and all you're doing is you're coming down until you get to the first face down card and be careful not to spread too much because this is going to be where the spectator's card's at you say look it's not on top and then if you want to you could show them you know the bottom half and say look there's no card near the bottom you make sure to put the cards back on top and then you can just snap your fingers, do whatever, and their card is going to be in the middle of the deck face up. So this is the trick, guys. I hope you guys like it. And as always, thanks for